How's it going everyone? CJ from On The Grow here and today I'm going to be telling you about an experiment that I actually started 10 days ago using broccoli. So I wanted to see how adding weight during the germination process would affect germination number one and overall growth at the end. The results are pretty awesome. Stay tuned for more. All right, so let's talk about the test parameters for this experiment. So 10 days ago, what I did is I seeded three different trays with 20 grams of broccoli, purple sprouting broccoli per tray. And the only thing that was different during this test is that we added weight to two of them and had no weight on one of them. Uh, what else happened with this is we grew everything on biostrate and everything was bottom watered with a nutrient solution, which was ocean solution, which was mixed at 0.5 ounces per gallon. So what was different about this test? This tray right here had only a single empty tray stacked on top of it and that was all the weight that it had. For the second tray we had that single tray plus we added a three pound bag of sand on top of it. For the last tray we had this single tray plus a 15 pound paver on top of it. These all went through the weighted process for three days and then they had a flipped blacked out dome for three additional days on top of that. So as you can see, I'm feeling like the 15 pound uh, brick paver had the best results here. Uh, it does seem to have the most uh, rounded and tallest growth out of all three of these crops. I will say though, however, everything does look incredibly similar. So I don't know how much benefit adding weight actually provided. So what we'll have to do now is actually go, we'll harvest these and we'll compare the harvest weights and see if there's anything else happening at the roots that we didn't, that we can't see because of these dense canopies. So I'll see you in just a moment once we have harvested these. Okay, so I just finished harvesting all three of the trays and the results are basically neck and neck. So let's talk about our first tray, which had a single tray as a weight. Uh, the harvest weight for that one was 284 grams and all the growth on it looked great. For the second tray, uh, that one had three pounds of sand on top. We had a total weight of 255 grams. And again, the product looked great, but it was about 30 grams lower than no weight. And then lastly, for our 15 pound group, we had a total harvest weight of 286 grams. Again, the product looked great. And the weight was the exact same basically as the no weight tray. So does adding weight provide any benefit? The only thing that we noticed, we taste tested all of these, all of them taste amazing. They all taste like broccoli. The coloration is all very similar. The only slight difference was that the 15 pound group had slightly higher or taller crops. That is really the only difference that adding 15 pounds provided in this uh, experiment. So is it worth it to add 15 pounds to it or do we just stick with no weight? Personally, what we're gonna be doing going forward and what we have done with broccoli is just stack them up with no weight. Uh, it, it shows in this experiment that adding 15 pounds and having to deal with that awkward movement of that paver is not beneficial to us or our crop. So there is no reason to have to fight that paver and instead we'll just be growing with no weight on top, uh, just the single tray because again, the results were all exactly the same. So we always encourage you to do your own experiments. This is again, what we found in our space and our climate, which is a very uh, specific controlled environment. We stay between 75 and 80 degrees. We always have humidity at 35% or below. And that is, we have a very specific lighting. So again, our climate is very different from most other people's climates. Uh, our airflow is very different, for example, too. So that's why I always, always encourage people to do their own experiments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. If you would like to, our Instagram is at on the grow farms. Please subscribe for more experiments like this. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.